Hello, Namaste. I am Dr. Shikha Fogla. I am a senior consultant and glaucoma specialist working at Apollo Hospitals. Today we will be discussing some facts about glaucoma, how common it is, how to diagnose it and how uh, the various uh, management options. What is glaucoma and how does it affect the optic nerve? Glaucoma is a condition that causes progressive damage to the nerve of the eye, which is the optic nerve. The nerve relays images to the brain, which helps us see things. How common is glaucoma? Glaucoma is the leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. Uh, as per the 2020 statistics, about 79 million people are affected because of glaucoma. In India, the, uh, about 16 to 17 million people are affected. It usually affects uh, the Asians and Africans. Who might get glaucoma? There are various eye conditions that make us more prone for glaucoma, like having myopia, hypermetropia, and most importantly, increased intraocular pressure. The non-eye conditions which cause us uh, to develop glaucoma are increasing age, having systemic conditions like hypertension, diabetes, vasospasm, sleep apnea. If you uh, sustain any injury to the eye, there are more chances of you getting glaucoma. What are the types of glaucoma? Glaucoma is usually of two major types, the primary and secondary. Primary glaucoma can be open angle glaucoma, which is the most common variety seen. And the second is the angle closure variety. Does glaucoma affect both eyes? Yes, usually glaucoma affects both the eyes, even though it may be asymmetrical in presentation, meaning one eye will have more changes compared to the other. However, however in some conditions, it may affect only one eye, especially in cases where there is an injury to the eye or in a condition called pseudo exfoliation. What causes glaucoma? Uh, there is a fluid that constantly forms in the eye and it drains out of the eye. If there is uh, obstruction to the, for the fluid to go out of the eye usually, that causes a rise in the eye pressure causing damage to the nerve which is called glaucoma. What are the symptoms of glaucoma? Mostly glaucoma does not cause symptoms in the early stages. Hence, it is also known as the silent thief of sight in the open angle glaucoma. In the later part of the disease, patients may complain of decreased vision or loss of field of vision. The second variety of glaucoma known as the angle closure glaucoma can present with eye pain, halos around the light objects, redness in the eyes or even vomiting and headache if the eye pressure is very high. How is glaucoma diagnosed? Is there a specific test? Glaucoma is usually diagnosed after doing a complete eye examination, which includes a measure of your vision, eye pressure, the fluid outflow passage, which is done by the gonioscopy, and an assessment of the nerve of the eye, which is followed by perimetry test, OCT test if required. How is glaucoma managed or treated? There are different modalities for management of glaucoma. The usual ones are with the use of medications, laser or surgery where required. Nowadays, with number of medications available, the primary treatment in open angle glaucoma is usually with the eye drops. And in case of angle closure glaucoma, it is laser followed by use of medications where required. What are the complications of glaucoma and can it cause blindness? Glaucoma, if left untreated, can cause irreversible blindness. It, uh, the treatment is to halt the disease at whatever stage it is diagnosed. So it is very important to pick up the disease in the earlier stages. How can someone prevent glaucoma? Glaucoma is a multifactorial condition and some of the conditions are not in our hand. But there is a variety called the narrow angle glaucoma, which if picked up and treated on time can prevent development of glaucoma. 
what can I expect if I have glaucoma? If you are diagnosed to have glaucoma, you need to sit down with your doctor, understand your disease and make sure that you follow the doctor's advice, use your medications regularly and have a periodic eye checkup. At what stage a doctor should be consulted? I have already mentioned about the various risk factors for glaucoma. So anybody with a risk factor should have a complete eye examination to rule out glaucoma. When to go for an eye examination for glaucoma and how periodically you need to have an eye checkup. Anybody with a risk factor for developing glaucoma like family history, uh, conditions like myopia, hypermetropia, having diabetes, hypertension should have a early eye examination to rule out glaucoma. When is surgery recommended for glaucoma? Glaucoma surgery is usually recommended if the eye pressure is not under control on medication or the patient is unable to tolerate the medications or the patient is planning to undergo a cataract surgery when a, a decision can be made whether to do the glaucoma surgery or not. To conclude, any person who has the risk factors for development of glaucoma should have a checkup at the earliest and depending upon the severity of the disease, the uh, periodic examination, uh, the periodicity of the examination will be decided by the treating doctor. So do not wait in case you have any symptoms or family history or systemic conditions like diabetes or hypertension, do have a complete eye checkup with a glaucoma specialist to rule out glaucoma. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Thank you. Namaste.